Whether you call it cornhole or bags, it's no longer just a game of leisure to play in the parking lot of your favorite stadium, but it's easy for anyone to enjoy. Just grab a bag and aim for the board. One of the best players in the nation, he comes from El Dorado. Trip Baker finished third at the college championships a few months ago. This week on 12 Sports, we go out there to learn what it is that's making cornhole so big. Cornhole is America's pastime when it comes to tailgates and backyard parties, but it's also become quite a competitive sport nationally, and no one in the area knows that better than Trip Baker. He's competed on ESPN at Nationals. Just first, tell us what's the competitive landscape like uh, when it comes to, to cornhole just across the nation? Yeah, um, mostly people run ACL regionals or national or open events nationwide. Uh, a lot of the regional events take place here in Wichita. How did you discover your passion uh, and, and that you had a skill for cornhole? Really just thrown in the backyard with my dad. We kind of enjoyed uh, messing around at barbecues and things like that. And then um, once COVID hit, it's the only sport that's on TV. We're watching and we're like, man, we want to get as good as these guys. So we start buying the nicer equipment. We go to the tournaments. We end up losing. And then we're both like, oh, my gosh, we, we can't ever we can't ever go and play that bad again. So ever since then, we've both kind of been hooked. I like to take a right foot step. I think it helps me get aligned. And then hopefully just leads to a good result. <laughs> I said it's in. pretty good. It's pretty good. <laughs> this is a great tailgate game. Absolutely. When you show up to, to Pitt State tailgates and they bring out the cornhole sets, well, I mean, are, are you a hit? <laughs> How do people respond? Well, I usually try to kind of kind of keep it low-key. I don't, of course, I don't want to show up and kind of uh, get on the boards and then make everyone feel like they don't want to play anymore. What kind of time do you think it, it takes to dedicate to the sport to to get good at it, mm -hmm. to be on the stage competing nationally? Yeah, I probably try to get practice in at least four nights a week, whether it be going out to uh, a weeknight league in Wichita or El Dorado or um, sometimes just thrown out in the backyard. But that's what's fun about it. Anyone can play and anyone can get really good and start winning at the highest level. 